in. Nope, DZ Gartley still races in the gates and he gave away about three lengths start. Gold Dash also sluggish out the machine. Oliver Queen Bono's right there at the rail. Bletchley's between them. The Reformation racing in fourth. Brave Knight is fifth. Tunani races in sixth position. Three lengths off a good gallop. Two lengths away. Gold Dash as they move down to the 600 meter area. Imagination on the outside spots them. Five lengths start and Dizzy Gartley. Kick a man further back. Zelensky's tailed off. Oliver Queen at the top of the lane, 500 to run, has the advantage by a length and a quarter. Bletchley's on his outside, comes forward to put on the pressure. Bono's between them looking for a gap. All the time, Brave Knight, the red cap, tries to get closer. Tunani's running on towards the inside. Tunani mounts a serious challenge on the inside. Oliver Queen's under the doctor towards the outside, Bletchley. But Tunani came scooting into the lead with 200 metres to go, and that's it. Tunani has raced away from the opposition. Bletchley second, then came Bono. Brave Knight further back with Oliver Queen. Number eight, Tunani. There's a Tunami coming up later on. So horses with very similar names, both from the Lausanne Forbes stable. But here's Tunani, the son of Sale from Seattle. Bounds away from the opposition. Good training feet coming back from the absence and bounds away from them. There's a horse called Tanami coming up in race number seven. That's also from the Lausanne Forbes stable. So maybe the Tanami, Tanami double. Let's see if it's on. Bletchley, Bono. Then came Brave Knight. Oliver Queen came under the ride, came under the doctor. No extra late. And then came the reformation. Number eight, Tunani opened up quite sharp on the tote at one stage, was paying around 5 rand 80, eased down to 12 rand 30, 418 days off the track. Tunani, the son of Sale from Seattle, Alec Forbes for Lazan Forbes comes through up the inside and then just darts away from the opposition. Bletchley's on the right, Oliver Queen no extra late, and Tunani now comes zooting through. Five off the right-hand side, hits the front, and then starts to draw away from the opposition. Goes away to win as he likes. Five-year-old son of Sale from Seattle, bred by the Wicklow stud, and bounds away from them. Back to the studio. Well, the stable's hot, no doubt about that. Uh, Lausanne, Forbes, all her horses are, are running exceptionally well. And here she's brought back a horse uh, coming off a 418-day break, uh, a long rest and layoff and first run for the yard. And maybe she's going to tell us a bit more how long the horse has been with her, what problems and issues he's had. But, uh, the, you know, maybe you can just touch on that briefly, Lausanne. Uh, Dees, the horse hasn't been with me that long, certainly not for the 400 days since he's been off. Um, but uh, he came uh, with the story that he'd had an injury with his knee and that's why he'd had such a long layoff. Um, just big thanks to uh, Mike and the, the Sporter King Syndicate for sending him to me. Um, he's a lovely little horse. Um, when I asked uh, some of the jocks that had ridden him before when he was racing, you know, the, the, the feedback wasn't that great. Mm. Um, and the first time I worked him at home with another horse, I put him with something quite weak and he just blew me away. Yes. Um, and after that, I said to Alec, I said, geez, we're not going to battle to win with this horse. <laughs> I, think, I think he might actually be the quickest horse in the yard. He's very, very speedy. Um, and yeah, we were concerned about the, the knee issue, but he seems to be staying sound. And yeah, you know, if on, on today's run, I don't think he's going to um, stop you. You couldn't give the guys much confidence in official race cards, but you were clear in your comment, and I enjoyed that when you said, has faced stronger. That was good enough for me. Yeah, he's, um, you know, looking at his form, you know, it's difficult because lots of those horses aren't even racing anymore. Um, so for me, it's certainly just the thing that he, at work he has been giving us exceptional work and he's, he's been very, very consistent. Um, he, he's been sound and happy and um, well. And when I looked at him today in the ring, I thought, you see, he must be a big runner here. Okay, it could be a nice day for your stable and uh, your stable's hot, as I mentioned. You've got some lovely horses later on. 
Uh, yeah, these I see two of my horses are currently um, standing at favourite. Uh, JJ's girl ran a lovely second last time out in the 1600, um, which was a very courageous run. Um, she's definitely looking for the extra trip. She's fit, she's well, she's come through that last run very well and I think she'll go very close today. And then little Tanami um, has just come off a third in a feature and she is exceptionally well. She's giving uh, really, really good work at home. So, yeah, we holding thumbs and hoping. Positive comments, we thank you. Thanks, Steve. Well done, Lausanne Forbes. Alec Forbes was all smiles as he came into the ring, and why not? I saw you, as you swung into the straight, that was it. The way you were travelling, nothing was travelling better than you. Yeah, geez, you know, I thought this was said so much against him. Um, he's been working well, but he'd been off for a really long time. And we were drawn 12, or we came into 10, but we were drawn wide, and um, I didn't... I, I didn't think that we would do it today. I thought that his next start would be the right one. I thought he might just need it. But, you know, things went our way. We got the rail and turning for home, it was just a matter of how far. Well, the boss seemed more confident than you were. She was way more confident than I was. I was, you know, very reserved when it came to his amount of time he'd been off. And uh, generally, I'd say, you know, I've said it before, you know, in, in a thousand meter race, it's very, very difficult to overcome your draw. Um, you need either a horse with very serious speed or you need to drop out to last. And, um, you know, today we had a bit of luck. It's a nice start for you. What about the balance? Which could be your next best, Alec? My next best would be JJ's girl. You know, she's going 10 furlongs for the first time. Uh, we've got a nice draw. I think she'll enjoy it. Thanks for that. Thank you, Deez. Well done. Alec Forbes teaming up with Lausanne in race number one. And if you got a piece of the action when it came to that quartet, 8, 1, 5 and 3. Coming up next will be the start of the place accumulator 1340, which is 20 to 2. But uh, don't go away. Stay in touch. Uh, stay in front of that uh, television set. We've got a very important presentation coming up with Graham Hawkins.